In the previous lectures, we discussed about the common base transistor connection and we have obtained the expression for the current amplification factor and the expression for the collector current which are the two important parameters in the case of a transistor configuration or a transistor connection. And also we have seen the input and output characteristics of a tra common base transistor connection. Now let's discuss about the common emitter transistor connection. In this connection, the emitter is made common to both input and output. That means the input of the signal is supplied between the base and the emitter of the transistor and the output is taken from the collector and the emitter. That means input is applied across the base emitter junction and the output is taken across the collector emitter junction. The figure on the left that is the first one represents the common emitter transistor connection of an NPN transistor where VBB forward biases the base emitter junction and uh, VCC the voltage source VCC reverse biases the collector and uh, the figure on the right the second one represents the common emitter transistor connection for a PNP transistor now let's see what is the expression for the current amplification factor we can call it as the base current amplification factor beta current amplification factor which is represented by the Gehrig letter beta which is defined as the ratio of the output current to the input current in the case of a common emitter transistor connection the output current is the collector current and the input current is the base current so we can define the current amplification factor beta as the ratio of the change in collector current to the change in base current so how the collector current changes with respect to the change in base current that gives the current amplification factor in the case of a common emitter transistor connection if we are considering the dc then beta can be represented as ic by ib And we have uh, seen that only 5% of the emitter current contributes the base current and uh, on more than 95% of the emitter current flows as the collector current or contributes to the collector, collector current. We can see that uh, when we are doing those substitution we can see that uh, beta is always greater than 20 and the value of beta for uh, practical transistors lies between 20 and 500 so The value of beta is much greater than alpha and we know that alpha the value of alpha is less than 1. Now let's have a relation between these two current amplification factors that is the current amplification factor in common base and common emitter configuration the beta and alpha. For that let's consider alpha the expression for alpha is given by delta i c by delta i e and b we have seen this lecture that beta is given by delta i c by delta i b and also we know the expression for the transistor is i e is equal to the emitter current is the sum of the collector current and the base current i b now from this one if you take the change in emitter current that is delta i e will be equal to delta i c divided by sorry plus delta i b 
now divide this expression throughout by ic delta ic then we have delta ie divided by delta ic is equal to 1 plus delta ib by delta ic we have divided the above expression throughout by delta ic now delta ie by delta ic is 1 by alpha because alpha is defined as the delta ic by delta ie and uh, and by alpha is equal to 1 plus delta ib by delta ic is 1 by beta because we have seen that uh, beta is equal to 1 delta ic by delta ib so delta ib by delta ic will be 1 by beta from this expression we can rearrange this one as 1 by alpha is equal to beta plus 1 divided by beta or alpha is equal to beta divided by beta plus 1 this is the relation between alpha and beta so from this expression this expression if you know the value of beta you can calculate the value of alpha now we can have another expression if we rearrange this uh, expression that is n by alpha is equal to 1 plus 1 by beta that is if we consider this expression again and uh, rearrange in such a way that to get the value of uh, beta in terms of alpha for that i am taking the one on left side so i will have 1 by alpha minus 1 is equal to 1 by beta or 1 minus alpha divided by alpha is equal to 1 by beta or take the reciprocal and take rhs on lhs and take the lhs on to the rhs we will have or interchange the lhs and rhs and taking the reciprocal we will have beta is equal to alpha divided by 1 minus alpha this is the expression for beta in terms of alpha so beta is equal to alpha divided by 1 minus alpha from these two expressions it is clear that uh, alpha is uh, uh, very much less than beta or by knowing the value of alpha we can calculate the value of beta from equation number two and if we know the value of beta we can calculate alpha by using the equation number one so these are the two equations which connects the current amplification factor in common base and common emitter transistor connections now we can go for another parameter which are of great importance in the case of transistor connection is the expression for the collector current ic to start with we know the expression for the collector current ic is equal to alpha ie plus icbo where alpha is a current amplification factor in the case of a common base connection and icbo is the collector base current or collector to the base current when emitter is open the leakage current collector base leakage current otherwise we can call it so so now we know that uh, i e is equal to we have to rewrite the expression for ic in terms of the emitter uh, leakage current so for that we know ie is equal to ic plus ib so the above equation become ic is equal to uh, alpha ie i can write it as alpha ic plus ib plus icbo now 
multiply the RHS so we will have alpha IC and take that alpha IC to the LHS so we will have IC is equal to 1 by 1 minus alpha into alpha IB so it is alpha divided by 1 minus alpha IB plus 1 by 1 minus alpha into ICBO now if uh, IB the input current is equal to 0 then there is a collector current IC which is collector is reverse biased so still there is no input current if IB is equal to 0 means if there is no input current still we will have a value for IC which is given by IC is equal to 1 by 1 minus alpha ICBO so it is the leakage current actually because collector is reverse biased even though there is no input current there is a some sort of output current and which is expressed in terms of the uh, collector based leakage current as 1 by alpha icbo which can be rewritten as iceo because it is the collector emitter current when base is open ib is equal to zero means i base is open now look into this diagram the first diagram uh, here you can see that uh, when base is open IB is equal to 0 then still there is a collector current collector current and which is due to the reverse bias since the collector is reverse biased this collector current can be called it as a leakage current so it is abbreviated as ICEO the collector to emitter current that is the current flows from collector to emitter collector emitter current when base is open so that is uh, ICEO so this 1 by 1 minus alpha ICEO can be written as ICEO so the expression for the collector current can again be written as IC is equal to alpha by 1 minus alpha from the previous equation number 2 we we have seen that uh, beta is equal to alpha by al 1 minus alpha so using that equation we can write uh, it as beta ib plus ICEO so this is the expression for the collector current in a common emitter transistor connection IC is equal to beta IB plus ICEO and this concept of ICEO can be obtained from this uh, this diagram i told you when base is open there is no base current still without an input current we are having a small output current but uh, that output current is not due to majority carriers since the collector is reverse biased then the current flowing through the collector will be only due to the minority carriers the current passes as a result of the passage of minority carriers is called a leakage current so there is a leakage current flows through the collector to the emitter and this is called a collector emitter leakage current when base is open so that is denoted by ICEO so in terms of the collector emitter leakage current when base is open we can write the expression for the collector current in a common emitter transistor connection as IC is equal to beta IB plus ICEO. Okay, thank you.